It's when I knew Elena would go. I knew Elena would marry me because of the first response, right there. Her first response, not interested. Uh, I said, for sure we're having babies. <laughs> My goal is to meet as many people on this planet as possible, people that are positive, people that have more time to create than to be critical, more time to hustle than they have to hate, and they want to actually add strategy and techniques that are proven to grow their business so that they can take care of their family and their church. Who wants to ask a question? Yes, sir. And it could be for anybody. I got Sherry here. I got Brandon here. I got Jared here. Elena's in the room. Natalie's fiance to Brandon. She's got to put up with his stuff all the time. Uh, so th the questions don't have to be for me. I got Mike. Mike's here. He's a ball, ex ball player. He's on our sales team. What are you gonna make this year, Mike? About 350 grand. Okay. There's ball players that don't make 350 grand, folks. Don't 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 kid yourself. Most of these guys, they retire. They'll never see 350 again in their lifetime. Uh, Mike Bonnet's in the room, the famous Mike Bonnet. Okay. Okay. You know who you look like, Mike? Sure do. <laughs> and he got his ass pummeled the other night. Okay. So I got Todd Straw here. Todd runs. How many salespeople, how many people we have in that back room now? Okay. And then on, on, the, on the advertising side? Okay. So that'd be 36. The answer is 36. Ryan Secco's in the house. Ryan knows a lot about a lot. Okay. Kind of a pilot and also a guy. Yeah. Okay. All right. First question. Just want to first let you know that you completely changed my life. I've been to the boot camp. It's my second boot camp this year. I've gone to the 10x 360, the deep dive, the growth con. I've taken every single dollar and put it into you because I trust you and you've changed my life completely. And my question for you is right now, Jared's been helping me and, and I'm going out and door knocking every day. How did you pre prep the market and how did you follow up with everybody that you door knocked? You, you need you need to add some people to your team now. You can't you can't do everything. You can't be knocking on doors all day long. You know the thing about the door knocker, the the cold callers, that like they, they are you doing solar? No, I'm doing marketing, social media. Yeah, so bang bang bang, you're knock. Is it businesses you're calling on? Yes. Yeah. So you need somebody to follow up those businesses. Just just because just because the guy's not interested today doesn't mean he's not going to be interested tomorrow, next week, next month. We got, we got people we've been calling on for 17, 18 years. Still, still haven't earned their business. One day. So one day, someday. And no reason to put that much work in and then drop. So let me, let me just say this, because I heard, I heard somebody say this to Brandon this morning, that he has, I don't know, eight or nine or 12 people or something working for him, and only three or four of them make money. Everybody in your company makes you money. If you grow your payroll, you will grow your revenue. All people contribute to the flow of the company. I don't need a guy, I don't need a guy doing this to say he's moving the boat. I have to have a cook, okay? The cook might not be doing this, whatever this is, the oar in the water. He might not be doing this. He might not be raising the sail. He might not be, you know, looking through the goggles to making sure we don't hit the rocks. But the truth is I need a cook. So, so if you got 12 employees, go get you 24. And if you got 24, Ryan says this to me all the time. We need a thousand people here. And I'm like, wow, that's the kind of thing you want. Not who's paying, who, who's paying the bills and who's not. Who's making money. They're all making money. So you need some people following up, man. You know you do because they're falling through the cracks. I agree. Sounds good. And then did you just prep before? Like, would you call yeah, before? I, I, I role played every morning before I hit a door. Before no, I'm saying minute. before you door knock. Before you door yep. knock and you go out to a city, would you call and, 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 and let you know that you're coming? Oh, I would definitely call first. So I would call, I would take, I would take, uh, like if, if you hit any of our schedules, Cardone University, uh, Cardone Capital, if you call, we have a scheduler on there to schedule a call. Those schedules are only open for two to three days at a time. If they're open past that, it's because one of the managers didn't pay attention because it shouldn't be open on the fourth day. Because I want to I want to condense everything to right now. Okay, today's Friday, so Saturday, Sunday, Monday call. Because I I don't think anybody making a making a commitment on a Friday to a call next Tuesday is going to show up for that call. So I just suck him down and say, hey, you got to be one of these three days or two days. So I would go to Salt Lake City and I'd call Salt Lake City first. So Thursday and Friday, I'd call. I'm going to be there Monday. Can you see me? No, I'm not interested. Click. Thank you. I put him on my list. Go see him for sure. <laughs>
because he's in, he, there's re, some reason he's telling me not to come see him. There's some reason that guy's like, absolutely not. Why all the energy? Why, 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 why are you so concerned? It's when I knew Elena would go, I knew Elena would marry me because of the first response right there. Her first response, not interested. Uh, I said, for sure we're having babies. <laughs> because the force at which she pushed back on me, okay, meant she was one, doing it to everybody. Every person that was calling, the guy's like, I'm not interested, I'm not interested. So he's either very loyal to whoever he's doing business with. Everybody with me? Or, hey, I don't want anybody getting in front of me because when you get in front of me, I buy.